joining me now is the socialist commentator Owen Jones. Owen, you've been sitting there patiently. Your response to Mark Regev there? A, a grotesque inversion of reality. I mean, the thing about Israeli spokesperson like that is if I was told the sky was blue, I'd go out the window and check just to be sure. What did he say that's wrong? Um, it, for one thing, talking about um, the hospital being mm. used as a terror base. Now I'm afraid the only argument that Owen gives at this point is that Israel has a reputation for lying, which may well be true. But, in fact, the, the other, the counter-argument, which Piers doesn't advance at all, is that uh, guerrilla warfare um, routinely, uh, we saw it in Afghanistan with the Taliban, uh, we've seen it elsewhere, when a guerrilla army is under threat in, a, in an urban situation, it just simply gets back to doing what it would do normally, working in shops, digging the soil, being farmers. And it's very difficult to identify who is the soldier and who is the civilian. And that is part of the problem. So, yes, the Hamas fighters, even if they were in the hospital, have disappeared. Of course they've disappeared. It's impossible to identify them. Can Israel identify the tun the supposed tunnels under the hospital? That's a more interesting question. Apparently one tunnel has been identified. We've seen some vague photographs, not clear enough. But again, the issue is not that Israel habitually lies. The issue is what evidence is it producing? Not enough, I would say. But that's not quite the way that Owen Jones deals with this issue. But he is so interesting and so well informed. Listen to what he's got to say. And this is, uh, he, he's bringing up issues here about the killing of civilians and journalists, for example. Both Israel and Hamas have killed journalists, so many in this conflict, uh, as if neither side really wants any form of independent reporting on the hostilities that, go, that are going on. Well, let's just bear in mind, that Israel's spokespeople have a long track record of lying to the exact facts of this. When they shot in the head, for example, uh, Shireen Abu Akli, mm. they said for months and months and months it was Palestinian gunmen. It wasn't. They shot her in the head. James Miller, a brilliant British documentary work uh, filmmaker, shot dead 2002 by the Israelis. Years later, of course, after you wouldn't, they denied you, it. You wouldn't believe Hamas and their version of events either, would you? Well, I, that's why I depend on what aid agencies mm. at the United Nations are saying on the ground, which is mm. that collective punishment is being unleashed against the Palestinian people. I mean, look, we can see already the evidence they've been um, unveiling for what they said was a, a terror hub, including showing CDs and a computer. What they've done to that hospital is firstly, because they cut off energy in a total siege, which mm. they justified by saying they were fighting human animals, which should be considered genocidal rhetoric and should be condemned as well, such. I, well, it as should certainly be condemned, and they should not have the ability, uh, Israel, to cut off yep. water Thank and you. power we, and because fuel. It's it's a, but it's a, fuel, but it's a, fuel, that is collective punishment. Well, just agree, just yeah, agree, can we agree, under Article 33, that's against the law. It's a war crime. Can we agree? I, I think would, we should have some consensus. I would, I, would, I would argue you're heading towards collective punishment when you do that. You're not to heading towards collective punishment well, when you cut off energy and except, water to the entire civilian population. Except to play devil's advocate and to give their side of it, which I've heard repeatedly, take the issue of fuel. They want to try and get fuel in, the Israelis, as they've said, to the hospitals, to the humanitarian side of this. But they know that Hamas are taking that fuel and using it for their military. The, the hospital authorities, who we should listen to, have mm. rebutted those accusations. Look, what we've, what's happened here is babies right now mm. are gasping for breath yes. and suffocating. Mm. We've had several nurses and patients shot dead. In fact, this whole hospital has been described by medical staff as a mortuary. But you don't the, know. The, just oh, quickly, oh, oh, when a hospital, on. just quickly, when yeah. a hospital becomes a mass grave, yeah. when dozens of decomposing bodies mm. have to be buried in a mass grave in a hospital, we're talking, what you said, can I just quote something you said about, sure. about Putin? And, and I think this was very wise. You said in March 2022, I'm seeing a genocidal monster for killing women and babies in maternity hospitals as you sit back and let them do it. Why was it so disgraceful? But you were right. Mm. You were right to well, be Well, here's the difference. Why, why, me, why when you see this hospital, is there not the same fury? Let me explain. Uh, because the two are, in my opinion, morally very different. In one case, Vladimir Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine, he was committing war crimes having illegally invaded a... So oh, wait a second, let me finish. Having invaded a sovereign democratic country. Here, it was Israel that was invaded by a v vast number of terrorists who uh, murdered over 1,500 innocent men, women, children, 
They kidnapped 240 people, including babies, children, yes, Holocaust yes. survivors. So my point is, morally, there is a massive difference. Hold on, hold on. Uh, morally, yeah. it's a massive difference. Now, the question of the hospital, wait a sec. The question of the hospitals is this to me. They have so far produced some evidence of Hamas operating inside the hospital. For me, so far, as a journalist trying to be fair yeah. and impartial, okay. I don't think, as you've heard me say to Mark Regev, Correct. I don't think I've seen enough evidence Correct. here, which says to me this was a sprawling well, there's a, there's a, there's command a, center. But there is a moral difference between what Putin's doing in Ukraine no. and what Israel's doing to no. defend itself against Hamas, hold, isn't there? Hold on. I think this gets partly to the heart of the thing. Why are we condemning Putin whose invasion of Ukraine was evil and unconscionable and goes on, uh, why are we condemning him in so much fiercer language than we are condemning uh, Israel, who is, uh, that, that, that has gone into Gaza in a fierce and hostile way, and there are, in, in fact, a comparable number of civilian deaths. That's him. God, isn't that... No, no. No, actually, no, sorry, this is the difference, okay, if you, if you want to talk about that or, mm. or, or try to separate them. For a Ukrainian ordinary civilian mm. being killed mm -hmm. or put an ordinary Palestinian child being killed, Both equally none, of them, none of them did anything wrong. No. We agree on that, don't yes, we? we? Yes, we do. We absolutely agree yes, on that. Yes, we do. Now, when, we're talk when you repeatedly denounce Putin for his genocidal behaviour in Ukraine, yeah. do you stand by that? Do you yes, think that's a genocide? Absolutely. Well, it doesn't matter what the, be what the basis mm. for what the operation... Of course it does. No, 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 no. No, in no, no it does. No, 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 Pierce, in terms of what actually is happening, we can talk what about the massacre, the obscene massacre of a thousand... What Israel's Israel is doing no, is no, no, not no, genocide. Pierce, Pierce, Pierce. You can't keep saying no, let's, no, no, okay, no. Like let's talk about genocide. Let's talk about genocide. Yeah. Why is it? Let me tell you the difference between genocide. No, let, me, let me put something to you, and you come back at me and tell me if I'm okay. wrong. Hamas from its charter onwards, and from the spokesman said last week, is dedicated to the eradication of Israel and killing as many Jews as it can possibly kill. That is the purest definition of genocide intent that you will ever see. And they executed it on October the 7th as best they could. Now, what Israel's doing in response, and they've been very firm about this, and the international courts will rule this, as they... Please, well, these are, so, these are very on. long questions. They're not. I I'm, making, I'm answering a point, okay. and I'm putting one to you, right? In my estimation, they are qualitatively different. What Hamas is, what is Can I answer? publicly what they're doing okay. is genocide. What Israel's doing is not genocide. There's a difference between what Israel, you could say both Israel mm. and Hamas have engaged in genocidal and murderous rhetoric. No. And I'll give you an example. No, yes, no, they are. No, you can't. Benjamin Netanyahu, no, you, one I can't. Is it uncensored or not? This is, of course, a tremendous discussion with between Owen Jones and Piers Morgan. And they're, and they're getting to the core of the debate, which is the definition of genocide. And actually, neither of them really re re really deal with this effectively. All they have to do is reference other allegations of genocide. And the best is, <laughs> is in fact, the, the allegation of the Armenian genocide of 1918, made vigorously still by Armenia and by France, for example, and recognised in France as a genocide, but not in Turkey. Now, what is Turkey's refusal to accept that it is a genocide? It's based on a very clear and fairly demonstrable principle that actually gets to the hub of the debate. Uh, there is no evidence that even if a horrific and uh, an appalling massacre, which it was, that it was intended to... Um, kill the entire race, to eradicate all Armenians and, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and that this is something that was a governmental policy or an army policy. There isn't that evidence. So neither Piers nor Owen deny the horror of the 11,000 Palestinian civilians killed in the last month, or the 15,000, I think, now, uh, nor the carpet bombing or the endless bombardment of civilian sites um, reputedly housing Hamas command structures. But actually, this is... Um, the, I, I, in, fact, in fact, I think Owen is, is, is about to deal with this. I, I don't know whether he is. Let, uh, we, we, we should listen to it. But there is evidence uh, of Israel calling... Um, of, of, of Israel... 
saying that uh, that, that, that it um, there is evidence of Netanyahu um, quoting scriptures which suggest a genocide. There is also clear evidence, as Piers points out, of Hamas saying that it wants to kill all Jews, which is clear evidence of a genocide. But in practice, in practice, the Israelis who are going in are with evidence, um, are calling the Palestinians, calling individual Palestinian phones and telling them to evacuate uh, and there is evidence of the roof tapping and evidence of the leafleting and evidence of the telephone calls, not only from the Israelis, but also from the Palestinians and independent observers, what few there are. There are clear statements of intent not to kill civilians, which actually contradicts uh, Netanyahu's quotation of the, of the um, scriptures about the Am Amalekites. Um, and, as I say, in contrast to that, there are statements by Hamas, not only, uh, not, not only the actions of Hamas on, the, on October the 7th, but statements since then, that they intend to continue to slaughter as many Israelis as they can and to repeat the October the 7th terrorist act uh, action whenever they can. Genocidal, uh, the question is whether genocide is about intent or effect, and, uh, and, and what is the difference between genocide and evil? So, of course, Putin is evil. Is he genocidal? Actually, I have very clear reservations about whether or not Piers is right to say that Putin's invasion of Ukraine is actually genocidal. I don't think it is. Uh, I think Hamas's invasion of Israel is specifically genocidal. I think the language that, Put uh, that Netanyahu uses um, is genocidal, but I don't think that the Israeli invasion of Gaza is specifically genocidal. And, and, and that's the issue. It's a very complex situation, um, but it doesn't in any way undermine the reality that uh, this is a massacre and an appalling massacre that should be stopped. And the way to stop it is to open the gates and to get the civilian population out of that area. Let's let, 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 let's continue what um, Owen's got to say. Yes. Let me okay, quote, you can say let it. me quote. Let me quote what the the Israeli authorities have said. Go on. Benjamin Netanyahu, when he quoted Amalek, mm. the scriptures. What does Amalek say? Mm. It, he he quotes Amalek when they attacked the Israelites. And what God told the Israelites to do was to destroy every kill, every man, woman, child, and livestock. Mm. If I would put it to you, an Islamist leader was quoting a similarly genocidal passage from the Quran, you would not, I would say, I respond? hesitate. Did I respond? What, what, no, no, what, we haven't, just, no, but you've had a lot. To that I'm going to respond just quickly. Israeli officials said mm. that Gaza will end up being a city of tents with no building standing, mm. that, they are, that they are attacking for damage, not for accuracy. The agricultural minister, Avi Dikti, he said we are rolling out a new Nakba. A Nakba is mm. the mass expulsion, 700,000 mm. Palestinians in 1948. Mm. This is why hundreds of genocide scholars, people who are actually, unlike you or I, mm. experts in the field of genocide mm. studies, fear okay. that a genocide is taking place. So the difference between Israel Let and Hamas now. is Hamas does not have the capacity to wipe out no. Israel. Israel is wiping Gaza the point. off the map. But that's that, the point. But that, no. You've actually exposed the weakness in your argument. Israel does have the ability to kill everyone in Gaza tomorrow, and they're not doing it. Oh, in fact, well, hang on. What they're doing, and it's indisputable, they are issuing a number of warnings repeatedly to people to go no. south, wait, and stay out of northern Gaza, right? And then they're pulverizing it with airstrikes, and now they've gone in on the ground, and they're waging battle with Hamas fighters, terrorists, yeah, right? Yeah. No, hang on, hang on. So my point is this. Israel could, if they wanted to, kill everyone in Gaza. They've decided not to do so that. Is your definition, so not, to be genocide very, is where you want to kill everyone. Sorry, sorry. Your definition of genocide, because in Ukraine, Vladimir Putin hasn't killed every last Ukrainian. Oh, that's simply not happened. That no, 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 he hasn't. And, and nor has he stated no. his intention to do so. And nor as brutal and uh, barbaric. Actually, actually sorry, to be, to be Vladimir Putin, to be clear, absolutely, no, by illegally no, invading a sovereign country and, 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 and no, no, indiscriminately no, no, bombing yeah. anything in front of him. Indiscriminately bombing. Is ah, waging I'm a sorry. form of genocide. Wow. Indiscriminate bombing, mm. Gaza, more than two Hiroshima bombs worth have been dropped on mm. East London in the space of five okay, weeks. Okay, let me ask you two no, questions. No, 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 you said Ukraine. No, I'm going to have to put this to you. Okay. 
15,000 people have mm. now been killed mm. now by the Israelis' mm. estimate in Gaza. One in every 200 people in Gaza have now been killed. Mm. If you were to adjust the population in Ukraine, mm. that would be 300,000 Ukrainian civilians. Mm. 300,000, there's been a terrible death toll. It's estimated by the UN, 10,000 civilians have been killed mm. since February last year. Mm. In the space of five weeks, mm. a country with a much, much smaller population has had a much higher, has had a death toll mm. higher officially than that. That okay, Ukraine. So how can it, how can it I'm be? I'm going to answer. How can it be that you call that genocide, yep. but when you have nearly half the entire civilian death toll of the Bosnian war mm. in a country which is twice the size in terms of population, why isn't that genocide here? Well, I've just answered your question by saying if Israel wanted to commit a genocide, they would simply vaporize. So would Russia. They would vaporize. So would Russia. They would nuke, they would nuke Russia, Ukraine. Russia wants to no. take over Ukraine. Yes, and, and, so, and they want and to take over kill, Gaza. And it will kill any number of Ukrainians, men, women, and children, but in that process. The death rate, is, able to. The only the death rate in Gaza only, is much, much on, higher. The only reason it hasn't is right. that actually Ukraine has a large military supported no. by countries like the United States R and is putting up Russia one hell of a fight. Russia has nuclear weapons. Okay. And, Russia, and Russia, by the way, Ukraine gave theirs Ru up. Russia, have had Russia has an armed... For what? Let me ask you... What? No, no, you've got to accept this. Hang on. No, no. A, I'm far, going to lower, anyway. a far lower death rate in Ukraine. I've explained why. As I've explained is. why. You haven't explained yes, why. Yes, I have. Well, let me explain Israel again. have made it clear. You didn't hear me. Israel has made it clear that they intend to occupy Gaza explain. permanently. Yeah, they sh and which they should not right. be allowed to do. And what did we the can Israeli, agree on that. What did the Israeli ministry leaked uh, intelligence? What, me, what did so, the intelligence sorry, ministry leak? It's my interview of you, I know, but you, not your interview of me. Well, I think let you did really help Let me answer you. At this point, of course, the entire interview gets um, hijacked by Piers Morgan's testosterone. <laughs> so, look, we'll leave that there. But I think... Um, this was one of the more interesting interviews uh, and um, uh, that, that Owen Jones has given. And uh, I, I enjoyed the good-humoured banter and the, uh, and, uh, and the extraordinary energy of the exchange. Um, I, I, I think Piers Morgan uh, just wants everyone to agree with him, but that's neither here nor there. Owen Jones puts up a very good, very good fight. I, I, as I say, I don't think that he advanced the best arguments